Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I show you guys how to create this bold summer makeup look. And I did in my previous video create a more like glowing, not as heavy sort of a makeup look. So if you want to check that out, the link is down below in the description. Or you can click somewhere on the screen here to check it out. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see a bold summer makeup look. All the Instagram pics my makeup tutorials and you guys voted a bold summer look. So I hope you guys like this. I've been really wanting to do a video with these sort of colors for a while so yeah if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe down below if you are new to my channel and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you can get notified for whenever i upload a video so with all that being said let's just get started with the tutorial okay so because i'm going to be doing a bit more of a bold and dramatic look today i'm going to be starting off with my eyes and i have already primed my eyes and done my brows off camera as i usually do with my videos and i just primed my eyes with some concealer and just set it with some powder as well so the first thing i'm going to be doing is going in with my jaclyn hill morphe palette and don't mind how dirty it is but i'm going to be going in with this shade here for my transition shade and I'm just going to be applying it with my Morphe E23 brush just like into my crease and blending it upwards towards my brow bone. Now to bring more orange into the look I'm going to be going in with the Morphe 3502 palette and just with this shade here and I'm going to be applying that into my crease and a little bit on the outer corners of my eyes using my Morphe M441 brush. And you can just use any fluffy crease brush you prefer. And just be careful with these shades because they're so damn pigmented. Now just going back with the first brush I used, I'm just going to blend the two shades together. I'm not applying any shadow. Okay, so I'm going to be going back in with a little bit of the transition shade I used from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just going to use it to help continue to blend the two shades together and just to bring back a little bit of that light orangey transition shade. Now back into the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm just going to be picking up this shade here. I'm pretty sure it's called Hunts and I'm just going to be using it with a more defined crease brush. This is the Morphe M433 brush and I'm just going to be applying it in my crease and on the outer half of my eyelid to bring some more definition and deepen up the look even more. And just continue building this shade up until you get the intensity that you want. And now just back in with my crease brush and no additional shadow, just blending out that last shade. And now I'm going to do a half cut crease and I have done this on my channel before but if you're new here and if this is the first video of mine that you're watching I'm just going to explain to you guys what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to be going in with my Kylie Cosmetics Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Pearl and this is the lighter shade from her shade range and why I like to use a really light concealer when doing like cut creases and paler eyes and half cut creases that sort of thing. I like to go in with a super light concealer because I feel like it makes the shadow I'm going to be applying on top of the concealer, so like the cut crease shade, um, stand out more and pop more and that's what we want to do when we're doing a cut crease. So yeah, that's why I'm using a super light concealer and I like to use my Morphe B10 brush just to carve out my crease. And also what I like to do is go a little bit above my crease just because I do have hooded eyes. I want to go above my crease it does open up my eyes a bit more and you can actually like see the cut crease where if I was to do it straight into my crease it would just like disappear and you wouldn't even be able to see the cut crease so that's what I do and then I just like to set it with my RCMA no color powder and I always just like apply the concealer on the back of my hands and then apply it with the brush and patience and practice is key to learning how to do a cut crease trust me and just here where the concealer and the matte shades meet, I'm just going to tap it with my finger to help it blend. But we're not going to focus too much about blending that at the moment because we will be applying shadow on top. And there we have our cut creases. So now for the cut crease, I will be going in with this 
Detail Shader Brush by Zoeva. This is a 237 brush. And again, going back into the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to be using this deep, bright blue shade here. So the first thing I'm going to do is spray my brush with Fix Plus. Just so the shimmer shade can really stand out and be super shimmery. And I freaking love my MAC Fix Plus. And I just got a new one. This is literally my fourth bottle in like a whole year, I think. Something like that. I use it so much. And then I'm just going to pack that blue shade all over my lid where I cut the crease. And then when I get to the end here, I just like to tap it, just to blend it. Okay, now because that blue turned out a bit darker than I expected it to, I'm going to go in with this shade and apply it on top. I feel like I should have just done this shade from the beginning, but whatever. It's not popping as much as it would have because I applied a darker shade underneath, but that's okay. Now just going with the brush I used for the darkest matte shade, I'm just going to tap over where the shimmery shade and the matte shades meet just to blend it together. And now to just deepen up the look a little bit more, I'm going to go in with this dark brown shade with a pencil brush and just apply it to the outer corners of my eyes. I'm just going to go in with the Morphe M433 brush again to just blend it out. Now I've just picked up a tiny bit of this red shade again that I used to deepen up the crease and I'm just going to use that to help blend out that deep brown shade that I just applied. Now I'm just going to do the same thing onto the other eye. Now I'm going to be going in with this super small, a little bit fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M506 brush. And I'm just going to be mixing this shade that I used to deepen up the crease with this dark brown shade that I used on the outer corners. And I'm just going to be applying those shades above the cut crease. But I'm not going to go too hand because I don't want to ruin the cut crease. It's just to bring a bit more darkness in that area. Now going back in with that lighter blue shimmer shade with the detail shader brush just to clean up the edge. Okay, I'm just going to go back in with the first brush I used just to blend everything together. I'm not applying any shadow. I know I'm going really back and forth with this eye look, but that's just what you got to do when you want to make sure everything is blended and looking the way you want it to. Now I'm just going to go in with a makeup wipe and just clean up the edges of my eyes and all of the fallout. Okay, so we're moving on to the face for now. We'll finish off the eyes in a little bit. So I'm just going to prime my face using my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and just applying it more so in my T-zone area. So for foundation, I'm going to be going in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade 170 and it is a little bit too dark for me, but whatever. And I'm just going to be applying it with my Sigma F80 brush. And you can now use my code Martina to get 10% off your Sigma Beauty purchase. And all the details and links will be in the description box down below. And I'm just going to buff the foundation into my skin. And I'm just going to dab that and melt that all in with my Beauty Blender. And now I'm just going to be moving on to concealer. So I'm just going to be going in with my Kylie Cosmetics Skin Concealers. I'm going in with the shade Stone first, just applying it where I always apply it and then lightening it up a bit with the shade Pearl. And then I'm just going to bake underneath my eyes and on the bridge of my nose with my RCMA No Color Powder. And now I'm just going to set the rest of my face with my Too Faced Peach Blur Face Powder. But I'm not going to go too heavy with this. Now I'm just going to wipe away the bake with my Morphe M438 brush. Now I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Light to Medium Contour Kit and picking up this middle shade here. And I'm just going to contour my nose. And I'm just going to really lightly contour the rest of my face. 
So just like underneath my cheekbones, around my forehead and underneath my jawline as well. Now I'm just going in with my Kylie Cosmetics Cocoa Collection Face Palette and going in with the bronzer called Rodeo Drive and I'm just going to be bronzing out my face exactly where I contoured except for my nose. Okay, now I'm just going to blend all the bronzer out with my powder brush just to make sure it's all nice and blended and there are no harsh lines anywhere. And just going in with the brush I used to wipe away my bake to blend the nose contour. And now for highlight, I just sprayed my Morphe R36 brush with Fix Plus and I'm going to be applying my Kylie Cosmetics Ultra Glow in the shade Santorini. And this is my favorite highlight ever. It's so freaking blinding. And I'm just going to bathe my face in this pretty much. And now just with my finger, I'm going to highlight my nose and Cupid's bow. And now for blush, I'm going in with this face palette from the Chris Collection by Kylie Cosmetics. And I'm just going to be using the shade I Raised You on Mac and Cheese and just applying it onto my cheeks with this Kylie Cosmetics brush from her birthday collection last year. And this is just a really nice peachy blush that will tie in super well with the eyes. You know, just a bit on the face as well because why not just give you a more sun kissed look okay now to finish off with the eyes i'm going in with this smudge brush by fenty beauty that was from the galaxy collection and i'm just going to be going in with that deep red shade again and i'm just going to smudge that along my lower lash lines but i'm going to be trying to focus most of it to the outer half of my lower lash line and now with this tiny dose of colors brush from the eyeshadow palettes, I'm going to be picking up this shade we used for the transition. And I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line. And now to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bones, I'm going in with my detail shader brush again and spraying it with my MAC 6 Plus. And now I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette again and picking up this light shade. I'm pretty sure it's called In Light. And I'm just going to highlight the inner corners and my brow bones. I'm actually going to switch to my Kylie Cosmetics highlight because I just feel like it's going to be more blinding. And now I'm going in with my Zoeva 224 brush and dipping in to the transition shade I use. And I'm just going to blend out that brow bone highlight shade. And now before I do my lashes, I'm just going to set my face with my MAC Fix Plus spray. Okay, and now just quickly off camera, I'm going to do my lashes. I've already done a tutorial on how I apply my eyelashes, so you can touch somewhere on the screen if you want to check that out. So I'm just going to be curling my lashes first, applying this L'Oreal Volume A Million Feline Lashes Mascara, and then applying my Lily Lashes in the style of Miami. I would use a pair of lashes that go like thicker towards the outer corner of the eye just to even intensify the outer corner even more but I don't have one. I did order some the other day but they obviously haven't arrived yet so I'll be right back. So I've just done my lashes and I actually ended up applying my Lily lashes in the style of Mykonos because I went to apply my Miami lashes and as I was taking off some excess glue this freaking happened so a whole chunk of lash came out and they're literally not usable anymore because it's just way too much lash fell out and then i went to apply these lashes and i put them on the wrong way around so i had to take them off and I reapply them and now we are back on track so now to finish off the lips i'm just going to overline them with my kylie cosmetics dolce k lip liner And now I'm going in with my Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sand. And this is such a pretty nude color. I'm just not a huge fan of their formula. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked this makeup look. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. And also let me know in the comments any other videos you'd like to see from me next. And be sure to follow me on all my social medias that was linked down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next one.